y'all, Kate here from the Emerald Minecart, welcome back to another review, and today I'm reviewing episode 1 of the Tomb Raider anime, which came out on Tuesday. Now, just like with the uh, Terminator anime, I will be reviewing this uh, every Tuesday, or on at least every one day, like a certain day of every week, so yeah, basically, like, every Friday is like the... Terminator anime, which I, is actually almost over. I'm actually getting to the last episode on Friday. But yeah, every Tuesday will be a review of the Tomb Raider anime that came out on Netflix. So, anyways, uh, yeah, anyways, the anime starts up with, like, Tomb Raider hunting for a treasure. Uh, she's doing all this parkour and stuff and avoiding death traps and stuff. And watching this made me realize something important about myself. And that is the fact that I am a pussy. You're probably curious, what do I mean by that? Well, here's the thing. Um, some of the, uh, things she's avoiding to avoid death would be very impossible for me to avoid. Um, mostly like trying to jump from one point to like another far away point. Like, like, I would not be able to do that because of my fear of heights. And then there's like the scene where like, She's on, like, it looks like she's about to enter the temple, but then the floor under her breaks, and she lands in water, and she has to dodge all this debris, and then, like, swim to the other, like, swim to a, uh, the inside of the temple, and it's just making me realize... I could never do any of this stuff, which is a real shame, because honestly, I think it would be cool to go treasure hunting one day, but... You know, um, I can't because I would like to avoid dying, or seriously hurting myself, especially since she's been current, like, when she's swimming into the inside of the temple, she's being chased by an alligator, and once she makes it out alive, uh, she gets pulled back into the water by, an al by the alligator, but thankfully, she has a knife on her, and she is able to kill the alligator, which here's the thing. If I was being attacked by an alligator and I killed it, I would either take its eyes and put it in the jar, or just take the head and have a taxidermy and put it on my wall. Like, you don't just leave the body alone. You, you have to at least take something as a trophy, like maybe the head, or the eyes, or the teeth, or the tail. Like, at least take something. Okay, to avoid myself sounding like a psychopath. So yeah, uh, once she enters the uh, temple, uh, someone else arrives who we discover is her uncle named Ross. Uh, they have been treasure hunting together for a good while. And uh, yeah, the treasure that they find is this jade box, which I'm hoping it's emerald because, you know, just like jades, emeralds are also green, but because, you know, this is something related to treasure hunting, most of the time it's going to be jade. So yeah, uh, they find this jade box, and Tomb Raider- Okay, not Tomb Raider, Laura Croft. Yeah, Laura Croft notices some carvings on the wall, like, you know, in like some temples, and stuff, there would be, like, carvings on the wall depicting things. Well, basically, the carvings on the wall for this treasure basically depict the treasure being as something that, to be perfectly honest, should probably not be messed with, but hey, it's taken anyways, and before they leave, they are stopped by people who were actually hunting Laura Croft earlier in the episode, where we actually discovered that they are people who are protecting the treasure, aka making sure no one tries to take it, considering, you know, the carvings on the wall show that the treasure is, uh, you know, quite dangerous. But yeah, uh, they defeat, they defeat them, and then we get a four-year time jump, where we discover that Uncle Ross passed away during a expedition where where, like, he died by having- by protecting Laura Croft, and, like, we, we later see, like, this picture of Laura Croft, Uncle Ross, and, like, some people who are, like, a part of the family, and one of them, in, like, the flashback Laura Croft has a few times about Uncle Ross dying, is, like, blaming Laura Croft for being the reason why Ross died, and she's all upset about it, and, and like, this has- we see that this has affected Laura Croft majorly, as she even has a nightmare about it, which which, you know, actually the funny thing is, like, at first I was thinking, okay, maybe this is going to be a bit more light-hearted than the, uh, Terminator anime. I was incorrect, but I will say, it is, I don't know why, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it feels a bit more 
alive. Like, it, it just feels like it has, like, a little more life. Like, the animation and uh, the Tomb Raider anime, it feels like it has a little bit more life in it. But, uh, yeah. Also, I want to talk about one of the family members of Lara Croft. It's this African-American guy who, like, looks over the mansion and, like, the treasures and stuff. And I, I, I really like him. The interactions he has with Lara Croft, I, I really do like them, and, like, I, I really hope he doesn't die. Like, He's a really... I, I really do like his character, especially... Especially there's, like, one scene where, like, Lara Croft leaves to turn the power on, and he and the guy is like, Wait, you're not gonna leave me alone in this spooky mansion? And Lara Croft says, Oh, it's not spooky. But before she leaves, she just peeks out from the uh, entr entrance to where she was going to go turn the power on and says, Oh, besides the spooky ghost... And <laughs> oh, my God. I just... I, I, I love... I love this. But, uh, yeah... Uh, so yeah, uh, currently, Lara Croft is au auctioning off all of the treasure her dad and Ross found, which some of the rich people who are attending the event are, like, saying, Oh, Lara Croft's father is roaming in his grave, and blah, 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 a bunch of generic white rich people stuff. But then we are introduced to another character who is quite suspicious, and actually later on steals the uh, jade box that Laura Croft and her uncle Ross found. And obviously Laura Croft is upset about this because we discovered that this is actually the last treasure that she and Ross found together, so it means a lot to her. And also the fact that, you know, the the, the, the carvings on the wall have shown that they are um, quite dangerous. So, uh, yeah, uh, Laura Croft tries to chase after she tries to chase after him, or the guy who stole the jade box. Uh, she fails, sadly, and later on we see the guy and two people on the boat, and our supposed villain of the story, which, yeah, I didn't really get his name, I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, he opens the box, and we see, like, this jade amulet, and he touches it. <laughs> This is a bad idea, as his eyes turn green, and, like, his veins turn all green, and he's, like, in pain and stuff. But then, like, when he's done, he decides to test out if he got any abilities, and we discover that the user, like, whoever happens to be the user of this amulet, can actually control people. And he almost makes one of the men on the ship kill their captain, but thankfully, our main villain isn't that evil yet, and he actually realizes what he's doing, he's like, okay, okay, stop, I'm not, I'm, I may be evil, but I'm not that evil. But yeah, and that's how the episode ends. So yeah, honestly, honestly, yeah, this was a nice episode. Honestly, yeah, this was a great starter episode, so uh, yeah. Uh, I give this episode, honestly, yeah, 7 out of 7 stars, so you know what that means. That's right, Emerald Seal of Approval! Yay! But, uh, yeah, um... Next Tuesday, I will be reviewing the second episode. And the reason why I don't do these all in, like, one week or something is because, to be perfectly honest, I'm not really a big fan of, like, all the episodes being released at once. I like, like, I know there are people who are like, what, really? I like it when all the episodes come out. I like more content and, and stuff like that. But personally, for me, I like, I like the whole, like, I like the thrill of, like, waiting. Like, I like waiting, like, watching one episode and then waiting for the next one that comes out because like it builds up hype for the next episode you don't get that when all the episodes release it's like oh boy i can't wait it's like oh boy part one was so good time to watch episode two instead i like the more i, I like the more thing of oh boy i enjoyed episode one now i have to wait for episode two. Oh boy i'm so excited like i like doing that more so yeah um but uh, yeah, uh, enough enough of that rant aside. I don't want to sound like a boomer, but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. That was the Tomb Raider anime, like mentioned. So we have some stars and we'll do approval. So yeah. Uh, so anyways, that was it for this video. Make sure you all subscribe and like for more. And I'll see you all later. Peace out, home guards, and goodbye.